for a second there. I wasn't sure the Kings were going to pull it off, but we are undefeated in our 50th anniversary jerseys. And why should I be doubting these jerseys? Of course, we are now 8-0 and in them. <gasps> so good. And this game even went to overtime, so there was just so much happening. Awesome things. Uh, we started with a goal about three minutes in. Yes, and a goal from... Marion Gabrick, guys, he's awake. Oh, I'm so excited. This means good things are going to be coming. Gabrick and Kopitar. Kopitar had three assists tonight, guys. Three. That's amazing because we only had three goals. Uh, so it was just so nice to see them get their chemistry back. For the most part, at one point, they did smash into each other and fall over, which is just such a microcosm of everything they've been doing together this season but for once the Kings were uh winning thanks to Gabrick uh it was another really early first period goal which the Kings has been good at the last couple of games and they they just came out firing it was like five to one shots on goal five to one goals would have been lovely but yeah it was just all Kings pressure all the time the first like eight minutes of the game all LA Kings absolutely no Winnipeg Jets and then the Jets started to push back a little bit. And that part was less good because by the time it got to the end of the second period at least, it was the Kings really just needed a break. Uh, so anyway, first period, mostly pretty good. We ended at one to nothing. We got a couple of power plays, which... Guys, we had four power plays and did not convert on any of them, and I'm not surprised considering how the Kings played on the power play. Good God, learn to play on the power play. It's not the same as five on five, guys. You can set plays up differently. Your usual grinding and dumping and chasing is not going to work. Please stop it. So a couple of power plays in the first didn't do anything with them. We took a too many men in the ice penalty, which was just amateur hour, which drives me crazy. Uh, and then in the second period, we took a penalty that then led to a goal, which was so typical of how the game was going. This is the goal right here. Because I counted at least four times, twice in the second period, once in, th uh, sorry, twice in the first period, once in the second, and once in the third, where I could have sworn it was a goal could have sworn and then you look at the replay and nope the puck just goes uh here like over the goal line and then off, the, off, off of this post and like just it four times it was the entire plane of the goal line the puck went across it and never passed it it was i don't like talking about puck luck but damn if the Kings should have won this game about 5-2 to two if the puck luck had gone their way, but it just, it wasn't going today. It looked like it's going to be one of those games because the Jets tied it pretty quickly on their power play in the second period. And then the Kings took like two penalties in a row to be in the third period and sure enough they scored on the second one so out of three penalty kills that the kings had to do in the second and third period they did not do their job on two of them and for a team that once went nine games with a perfect penalty kill record and a team that prides itself in being defensive first a little unacceptable it finally woke them up though Having been up one to nothing for so much of the game and having them tie it pretty late and then come come back in the third, the second period was not the King's finest hour at all. The first half of the third period made me think, especially after that early goal, just think, you know what, this is actually wasn't even early, it was like eight minutes in. But just the way they were playing made me convinced that the jerseys were not going to be undefeated which would have been so cool, and then it was. Um, it, they just, they were back on their heels. They weren't chasing, they were making dumb mistakes. It just, they were literally falling over each other. <sighs> then comes Dustin Brown. 
hero of the game gets the tying goal on a shot from Kopitar and Martinez, I believe. And it's, there's maybe four minutes left. And the Kings finally have some life back into them. The last four or five minutes of the game leading up to that goal, there was a lot of Kings pressure. And then after the goal, the Kings were just all over the puck and if they had have played that way the entire game it wouldn't have mattered how many goals almost crossed the plane of the goal line because they would have had plenty more going in the back of the net so credit peter budai for a couple of very timely saves that kept us in the game there was very very bad read on behalf of a couple of kings that led to uh total breakaway from the Jets player where there were like three players behind him and none of them could even come close to catching up and so kudos to Peter Budai for keeping us in it uh, I mean they were both power play goals that the other team got so I don't want to fault him too much but that was not the second goal was not a good one to give up and it was a stupid ass penalty to be taking so not good and then good so we're all tied up Things are going great, and we go into overtime, and the Kings were, I believe, 14 and 1 headed into overtime this season. So you pretty much know how this is going to end, right? Sure enough, and they didn't ever replay the goal, so I don't have any footage of it. I'm going to describe it as well as I can because gorgeous. Oh, my God. It was Jeff Carter, and it was beautiful. This is Jeff Carter's first goal in three games. I'm going to forgive him since he was the only one who scored for about seven games before that. So it's Pearson, Dowd, and Martinez, which I loved seeing those three out together on the ice. That was nice. They spent most of their time in the Jets' zone, but it was heavy board battles, and they won them, and by the time their shift was done, everyone was tired. So, But we, but we had the puck, and they could have kept going, and, and Dowd had the sense to just kind of, he kind of played it behind the net and let Pearson come off for Muzzin. And then he, in... I'm sorry, uh, Martinez went off for Muzzin, so then he and Muzzin kind of played with it a little bit, and that allowed um, Pearson to go off for Kopitar. So then Dowd get the, gets the puck to Kopi, who is on the right-hand side boards, and skates his ass off to the bench so that Carter can then skate directly to the front of the net, because at this point they're ready for the rush. So you have like Muzzin here, Kopitar here, Kopitar gets checked along the boards, kicks out the puck because he realizes he's not going to be able to get it with a stick, kicks it out to Muzzin, Muzzin takes it out of center over to the jet zone where Carter is now just streaking from the bench down the left hand side so nobody's got him yet. None of the defensemen even know that he's on the ice until it's too late and he's too close and the Jets goalie is looking at Muzzin because he doesn't see that Carter's out there yet and... Muzzin does this amazing pass to Carter, who is wide open, picks his shot perfectly, and snipes it in over, oh my god, and the crowd goes wild. It was gorgeous. It was the exact kind of hockey I wish I had seen the Kings play for a full 60 minutes. But we get the two points. And standings-wise, I'm going to actually start checking in on this at this point in the season because it's going to be important. Would have been nice to do in regulation. Probably don't need to give the Jets a point. Uh, thanks for nothing, Oilers, for winning yet giving the Flames a point. That's not going to help us. But thank you very much for... Don't even know who played the Sharks tonight. Don't care. They lost. So that's all good, except now the Ducks are at the top of the division and it makes me want to gag a little bit, but... As long as we make it into the playoffs, I ain't worried about the Ducks. And if we take all of the good things we did and just clean up a little bit of, like, our second period blues, I, I think the Kings have got a pretty good shot. Uh, at least if, if Jeff Carter is there on the ice. So let's just have him on there all the time. And Cupcake, please get better because we miss you. Um, as always, Kings fans, I leave you with the wonderful So So Hot Chris Sutter dance cam. Yeah.